Welcome to a D2R multi-boxing tutorial featuring Super Chef's D2 loader script. Alright, so let's get into this. First thing you need to do is go to Super Chef's uh, GitHub webpage, which is this link here. Um, I have already pasted it into a tab here, and it, you should be presented with this page here. At which point you're going to go about halfway down this page um, until you see this section here, downloads, and you're going to want to click release, which will bring you to this page here. At the bottom of this page, you'll see the latest release here. Um, you're going to click that and download that file. Once you've downloaded that file, you're going to uh, open up the directory that file is in and right click it and extract all. Uh, extract this to somewhere you can, uh, where you know where it's going to go because you're going to be editing this folder. Once you've extracted it, it should bring a folder like this. The first thing you need to do is right click on this script and click properties and it'll look something like this. Actually it will look something more like this. This box wasn't shown on my version because I've already checked it, but if you check this unblock, apply, and then OK, that's an important step. The script will not run if you don't do that. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to go down to the search bar at the bottom of your screen, or on some versions of Windows you may have to open it up, um, and you're going to type in PowerShell. Now Windows 11 you can click on the right here, open as administrator. On some versions of Windows you may need to right click and run as administrator. Once you've done that, it should prompt you with this terminal window. You're going to want to paste this code in there. I'll have all these links and cones at the bottom of the, dis dis excuse me, in the description of the video. Let's paste that code and hit enter. It's going to ask you, do you want to, want to accept this? Just hit Y and enter and you're done in the terminal. The next thing you want to do is I recommend getting a program called, um, excuse me, I recommend getting this program called Mod Mod Modern CSV. Um, or you could also use Excel, uh, but if you don't have Excel, you can use Modern CSV. This uh, file is a little more difficult to edit in Notepad, so I recommend getting this. You go to moderncsv.com, you click download and install it, and the program should install doll and look a little something like this icon here. So you need to open this accounts CSV uh, file, right click and click open with and if you have Excel you can use Excel, I prefer modern CSV, so open with modern CSV. Okay it's always going to bring this little prompt up, press OK. At this point we're going to put in our information for our uh, for our account. So the first account will be some, you know an email address at okay and then you can put a friendly name whatever name you want um, and then uh, the batch is just a way to to identify what groups of accounts you have, if you have more than one or maybe all the way I believe up to nine, uh, you can you can put different numbers in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever you want. I prefer to just put one in all of them uh, because I really only have one batch. So leave this time um, time active alone. Custom launch arguments is where you would put any sort of argument um, to make the game uh, load a specific way, like um, there's a, an argument you could put in there to remove the load screen. Um, it just makes it launch a little faster. You can put those arguments in there. Uh, right here it says parameter. You want to set this to parameter and then put in your Battle.net password here. At which point you shouldn't have to do anything else. This Battle.net password area is optional. It will populate this field without, but it will prompt you 
in the script when you run it to put in your Battle.net password. So I'm going to leave all the rest of this alone. Um, each line represents one account. So account one, account two, three, and four. Okay. So I have already set this up. So once you've done that, don't forget to hit file and save file to save it. All right. Once you've done that, you're going to need to open up uh, this config XML file. You can just use any text editor to open this file, and you're going to see this game path. It'll look different than mine, but it'll say this is where your game path is. To find the game path, uh, open up Battle.net, and you're going to be presented with something similar to this. So what you want to do is you want to click the gear, you're going to go to game settings under the gear and then right here is going to be your um, I'm sorry make that a little bit bigger right here is going to be your game path that copy that and you want to paste that in between where it says uh, game path right here you paste that and then you save that all right once you've saved that you should be ready to launch it for the first time so you don't have to do this step, but I need to delete this um, one and rename this because uh, I, di I don't want to show my account information. Uh, so I have it already set up, but I don't want to show my account information. So once you have, uh, once you're ready to go, you just double click this D2R loader and it should load for the first time. And there it is. At this point, you can select an account, so I'm going to select account 1, and you can select the region, so I'm going to select region 1, and it will load uh, your account. Now, I'm using a different loading method that is optional, um, where you are loading it with an account token. I can show you that. Um, what you're going to want to do is gather an account token, and you're going to put it into that account's VSC script. Um, and I'll show you that right now once this loads up. Okay, so here's my account. I'm going to close it. Now let's go back into an account VSC script um, here. So this this is just another generic copy of the script, but if you're gonna if you run into the problem where your account says that it's suspended, you can use a token authentication instead of password authentication. Um, the way you would do that is you would go into any browser. Uh, let me see here into a browser. Right click the three little dots here and go to private window. In this private window you're going to want to uh, paste let me get the uh, script here you're going to want to paste this uh, link and I'll have that in this description You paste that link in here and it'll take you here log in with one account at a time log in you click the login button and it will bring up a screen that looks like this you're going to want to copy the http colon slash slash and all this information all the way to where it says this might might be temporarily down copy that is going to be your token once you've copied that you're going to put that token right here um, you're going to paste the token there and you're going to change the parameter to token don't forget file save uh, once you're done putting your token in and that will allow you to load using uh, token authentication the most important thing to note with token authentication is that with token authentication you have to make sure that your account loads um, all the way to the character select screen before uh, you load the next character so it is more convenient to use just password authentication but if you're having issues switching regions and re with region locking you can use the token authentication. 
Thank you to Super Chef for making this script and making it available to all of us. Uh, please show some love at his GitHub. Go to the right-hand side of his GitHub to donate if you so choose. And happy multiboxing. <laughs>